Hello everyone, this is XM Physics. Here's an example for calculating the resultant fuel strength. So we have uh, charge A and C sitting at two corners of an equilateral triangle of length 2.0 mm. And we are going to calculate the resultant fuel strength at position B. Let's start with charge C. So charge C is a positive 2.0 nanocoulombs charge. Uh, and point B is 2.0 mm away from charge C. So using the formula E is equal to KQ over R square, the field strength of charge C at position B can be calculated to be 4.5 times 10 to the power of 6 newtons per coulombs. Likewise, um, charge A is going to produce an electric field. And since it is a negative 1.0 nanocoulombs, and point B is 2.0 mm away from charge A, we can calculate the field strength of A at B to be 2.25 million newtons per coulomb. So what is the resultant field strength at B? Um, can we simply add up these two field strengths? Not so easy lah, huh? because um, electric field strength is a vector so the directions matter and we are going to do a vector summation. Notice that I didn't bother to include the sign of the charge in the calculations. That's because um, all we want from the formula is the magnitude of the field strength. As for the direction, we are going to figure out from the context of the question anyway. So charge C is a positive charge, so it produces an outward electric field. So um, at this location, uh, C's field will be rightward. If you're talking about this position, the, the electric field will be leftward. If you're talking about here, it'll be downward. So if you're talking about position B, uh, the direction of the field is going to be, well, CBward. Yeah, in this direction, huh? along this direction. Charge A, on the other hand, is a negative charge. So it's going to produce a field that's centered about A and inward. So the field is going to be downward if you're talking about this position, um, upward if you're talking about this position, and rightward if you're talking about this position. And if you are talking about uh, position B, the field is going to be directed leftward. So we have EC in this direction and EB in this direction. Now I've chosen the numbers to, to be very nice so um, because EC is exactly two times of EB and this is a 60 degrees so the horizontal component the rightward component of EC which is this one here uh, would be EC cosine 60 degrees uh, which will exactly cancel the leftward EB. So what remains is simply the vertical components of EC and that is the resultant field strength. Since that's a 30 degrees here, the resultant field strength can be calculated quite simply uh, by using EC cosine 30 degrees. So it's 3.9 million newtons per coulombs. So to summarize, uh, electric field strength uh, is a vector so we use KQ over R square to calculate the magnitude of the field strengths. And we use the context of the question to figure out the directions. And then we do a vector summation to get the resultant field strength. Alright, that's all. Ta-ta!